बटाटा बड़ा So good. Welcome back to Cravings with Adventures. I'm Karen Ahmed and today we're making batata vadas. Now this delicious little potato ball that is deep fried in a chickpea batter is famous from the city that I grew up in, Mumbai, but it's also famous all over India and it's known as bondas, potato balls, has different names, but it's still super delicious. It's gluten free and it is very inexpensive to make. Before I go ahead and show you how to make these delicious batata varas, please make sure that you subscribe to my channel. I upload new videos every week and also do ring that bell. That's YouTube's new bell icon that will notify you every time I upload a new video. Now let's get cooking. Let's start with boiling one pound of cubed potatoes in boiling salted water. I want to cook this till they are just about cooked but not mushy. Some people like to boil the potato whole. You can do this if you wish. I like to cube the potato as it cooks a lot faster and it also cools a lot faster. This is now cooked so I'm just going to take it off the heat and I'm going to allow this to drain completely. Next we're going to work on the filling. Heat up some oil. I'm using a quarter cup of oil and I'm going to saute one cup of medium diced onions. Next, I'm going to add two teaspoons of mustard seeds, followed by two teaspoons of cumin seeds. I have a large green chili here that I sliced. This is roughly one tablespoon. I'm going to add that in. Now you can use less for a less spicy vada, or you can leave it out completely. And lastly, I'm going to add one tablespoon of curry leaves. Now I was lucky to get a batch of curry leaves from a younger plant, hence the leaves are small, but if you have bigger leaves, just cut them with the scissors. The curry leaves add an incredible aroma and flavor, but I understand that they're not available everywhere. So if you can't find them, you can just leave them out. Next, I'm going to add my powdered spices. I'm going to add a half teaspoon of cumin powder, a half teaspoon of chili powder, a half teaspoon of turmeric powder. This is going to give a lovely color to the filling, as well as one teaspoon of chaat masala. Chaat masala is used in many street food dishes. It contains ingredients like amchur or raw mango powder together with other spices. You can find this at any Indian store or a store that carries ethnic spices. Mix this in and before the spices start to burn, I'm going to tip in all of the potatoes. Now, although these potatoes are already cooked, I'm looking to get a little bit of caramelization and crispiness to the cubes. This is another reason why I love to cube this. This will give the filling a deeper flavor. Add salt to taste and mix to incorporate. Turn off the heat and it's best to mash this while it's hot. I like some texture in my filling, so I'm just going to mash it a bit more than half and leave some of the potato cubes intact. When you bite into it, it makes for a very interesting looking filling. Once the filling is cool, I'm going to add a quarter cup of chopped coriander and I'm going to leave the filling aside so I can work on my batter. I'm going to add two cups of basin or gram flour to my bowl. I want to point out that gram flour is not a flour substitute. Its flavor is totally unique and is used in many Indian dishes, including sweets. I have about three cups of water here and I'm going to add the water a little bit at a time, whisking furiously to remove all of the lumps. 
By the way, a gram flower paste is also great for your skin. When I was younger, my mom would make face packs out of gram flower for me. This is looking good now, so I'm going to add one and a half teaspoons of salt, one teaspoon of chili powder, one teaspoon of cumin powder, some fresh pepper, I'm just going to add about a half teaspoon, and one teaspoon of sliced chilies. Now this is totally optional. I'm also going to add one teaspoon of chopped coriander. Now many people just add salt and pepper to their gram flour batter, but these batadavaras are designed to taste spectacular. Mix the batter well and keep it aside. I like my patata vadas mini, so I'm going to use a small ice cream scoop just to divide out the mixture. A typical patata vada is about double the size. So if you like a regular size, you can just combine the two scoops. You should get about 24 mini patata vadas or 12 bigger ones. My oil is hot and since I bought a whole bag of curry leaves, I'm going to flavor the oil by throwing some of the leaves in. I also like to store fried curry leaves in an airtight jar for when I need some in a pinch. I have a bowl of water here handy to keep my hands moist while I'm shaping the balls. These have been divided but I still need to compress them with my hand. I'm going to gently dip these balls of filling into the batter and then I'm going to drop it in very carefully into the hot oil. I'm getting a few more in for my first batch and I can already see that the batter is getting nice and golden brown. Once golden brown, I'm going to drain this on some kitchen towel and I'm going to keep going till I have the rest of the batata vadas fried and ready. batter left over, I'm also going to batter and fry two chilies that I can also use as a garnish. Now make sure that you make a slit in the chili first for the steam to escape or this will happen. Let's see this again in slow-mo. These patata vadas are hot, delicious and ready to devour. Thank you so much for joining me in Craving Sweet Adventures. I really hope you enjoyed this delicious recipe for batata vadas. I like to make them in a little mini size, but you can make them any size that you like. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, guys. I upload new videos every week. Also, share my channel and my videos with your family and friends. I hope to hit 50,000 subscribers this year, and I hope that you can help me get there. Also, ring the bell. That's YouTube Sweet Bell icon. That will notify you every time I upload a new video. And follow me on all of my social channels. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, and even Snapchat. Till I see you next time, take care, guys. Bye. Mm. Mm.